This movie's terrible. I mean, it's terrible. It's it's terrible. It's like getting sitting down at somewhere, and you don't realize they're like fifty three tacks, just sharp as hell, and they all just crack you in the nut bag at the same time, and they and and it just keeps going and going and going, and then someone just like farts in your face when you're like wince down in pain it's 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 not good it's not good hey everybody it's the rewatch series and it is batman and robin garbage he's garbage and i don't care how many times this guy goes ahead and says this that's not what i wanted him to say you stupid roadcaster apologies apologies you can apologize for this movie as much as you want it's a different franchise it's batman and robin and what we're doing if you're joining us for the first time is we are we're going through the because the batman's coming out with robert pattinson matt reeves directing so we had the brilliant idea of doing all the rewatches saying oh we'll be able to get through all these this was tough man took me a few days to do it but we did it. it's batman and robin we got to it, the joel schumacher um what's the, the classy word for it shit fest and so we we um we watched that, but we're getting into Nolan, so I guess this is like something. But now we're almost there. We're doing it. It's George Clooney. It's um, Alicia Silverstone, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm not doing it yet. I'll do it later. And a couple other things. But um, before we even get into it with Corey Andrew and Winston Marshall, show a little bit of class, will you? Just an ounce. Just a little. That's all we're asking for. You guys are catching on. I'm seeing people now, if they just find it for the first time, go, you know what? I'm tired of this guy telling me to show some class. So I'm just going to show a little. And then you guys are doing it. You're showing a little class. You're subscribing. And you hit the notification button to do it. Notifications. How about Patreon no notifications? We got a lot of great stuff coming up. We have our exclusive. I think, man, we did a vote uh, for the SEN patrons. And it looks like there's going to be a couple of ways. I, I'm going to watch the thing finally. And it'll be a rewatch for somebody. But it'll be a watch for the first time for me. But for people like, well, wait a minute, you said that once we hit a certain amount on Twitch, you were going to watch. I'm going to review it and I'm going to put it on the on this channel public. So don't worry about it. You'll be able to see it. And then eventually we'll put the we'll put the whole rewatch um, live for that one because I know everybody wants to see it. So don't worry. And then last but certainly not least, please subscribe to the Apple podcast. Please do that. Please, please do that. And or, or Spotify either way. But helping us on big thing and listening to these on the road or wherever the gym picking up snow, uh, farting around, picking around uh, newspapers that somebody dropped in the middle of the living room and ran down the street with a sandwich they stole from your refrigerator. Let's listen to, you know, listen to the podcast. Koya has no idea what's going on. Sure, Koya had an edible again. What are you talking about? All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm just kidding. I didn't. Or did I? We're going to figure it out in just a moment. Let's talk about it. It's Batman and Robin. It's the big thing. <laughs> This whole movie is inedible, everybody. It is Matt Man, Matt Man and Mobbin. Matt Man and Mobbin. It's Batman and Robin. And it is the big thing. And look at these characters. Look at these characters. Winston Marshall. Corey Shandra. Oh, wait. Hold on. You tell me a second, Winston. Go ahead. I was just so concerned Coy was doing blackface for a second because he was off in that right corner. I was I was so concerned. I, I just Stern. got canceled in real time. <laughs> it just happened. No, I ain't touching that. All right, so <laughs> we, are, we are getting into Batman and Robin, and I don't know why anybody touched this movie. I'll tell you that because it, 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 what, this is I. I was texting with John Roker last night. He was telling me how funny Jackass was. I didn't have a chance to see it because I'm almost getting back to the theater. And that's another announcement. I guess I can tell everybody here too. myself, Winston and Corey, we should be back in studio for the dark night. So that's what we're hoping for. Um, so once that happens, we should be in studio. But Roker was telling me how it was I was like, yeah, I didn't go yet. But I, I said, this is how I'm spending my night. And I took pictures of Batman and Robin. He goes, yeah, man, those rewatches can be brutal. And up, <laughs> up until this point, even Batman Returns, like I didn't, I, I, I wasn't like, oh, why did I choose this this career? This was one <laughs> of those. This was one of those movies, man. This is it this got movie. that real for you, dude. This movie's terrible. This movie's I'm not terrible. saying it's not, but I didn't realize you started contemplating <laughs> full life. When you gotta watch this, dude. It took me, it took me days to watch this, and it felt like months. It felt I, like months. I watched it twice. 
It was, what? It was, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because you when I started like it, I just, I'm just <laughs> suicidal, bro. Uh, it's just because <laughs> I've. I, okay, well, I, I apologize. This, this, this rude of me. But my point is, um, I started it while I was just randomly like playing Halo. I was like, it could be on in the background. I've seen this yeah. movie twenty or thirty times because as a kid, as a kid, for some reason, I thought it was great. As a grown ass man, you're a kid, right? As a grown ass man, this is one of the worst. It, like I'm it's, looking at ninety seven. It's best at times, worst at times. Like you know, you had stuff like Jackie Brown and Eve's Bayou and yeah. and Liar Liar. Like game, the game, with game, yeah. exactly. Uh, hell, even the the uh, first Austin Powers came out that year, bro. Like it was yeah. an incredible time for films. We were and one then year you from had, Blade. Right. Yeah. Spawn. I know not everybody loves Spawn, but I love Spawn. This, and then you have like things like Spawn, Steel. Like well, the HBO, the HBO series of Spawn certainly was out at that point. Yeah. And and yeah. that was that was like groundbreaking television, very underrated television. But yeah, I get I, I get your point. And but, this, but then you have Steel, Mortal Kombat right. Annihilation, and God right. help us, Batman and fucking Robin. There's Dude, my one. It listen to me. This is a really bad movie. And when you what I will say though, when when and anytime George Clooney talks about this movie, he apologizes for it, right? <laughs> and, and I just watched an interview with him where he was like, he said, I single-handedly ruined the franchise. What I will say about George Clooney, he did nothing wrong. George yeah. Clooney did nothing wrong. George Clooney yeah. for, is trying so hard in this movie to do anything. Like, I, at one point I was watching him in the scene. He's like, legit acting. I go, George, just, just stop. Just stop. There's no reason to try. It's like it was, and he was—he's a good actor, and he was—he was doing this one particular scene. And he was really investing in it, and I'm like, cut, cut it out. Just stop it. I'm like, look at no one else me. is. No, no. One else will. Uma Thurman, who I love, she's got no idea what she's doing in this movie. She's like, she's doing like an old timey, like 1930s. She's got like a transatlantic accent that comes and goes. Well, yeah, it's so. All right, boys. Now hurry up. Here comes the poison. Wow. Well, but what? it's because <laughs> well, it's, it's, she went full Batman sixty six. That's the thing. Her and her and Arnold went full Batman sixty six. Oh, Arnold for sure. Every. <laughs> All right, everyone. Chill. Yeah, Chill. I, I, just, man, I, feel bad. Bad. I feel bad that George Clooney invested, as like you said, because him and Val Kilmer both had scenes that, like, you saw their work. But for some reason, he didn't do like a like his Bruce Wayne was like charming and happy, like he wasn't broken at any point. I was like, no, seems was like it seems like it's pretty nice to be Bruce Wayne. He, he was George Clooney. He wasn't like Val Kilmer and Michael Keaton. They, they had demons. Uh, yeah, George, George Clooney, Clooney had George Clooney. He's George Clooney, and he is, but he also has no, there's that's because they've given nothing to do in this movie. The movie is is just a complete just one liner after one liner after stupid commercial thing with the the bat card and the dumb line none of the jokes are funny i mean they're so stupid like the jim carrey at least and by the way batman forever is like the godfather compared to this movie because like yeah. and i just after watching it and 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 i will also say and batman batman returns is is a masterpiece compared to this movie and like the, everything about it is just so bad and it's not even like so bad it's fun to watch it just keeps getting worse and worse and the stupid things that are happening throughout it and arnold running around with a tin can on his head the whole time and 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 there's no explanation to anything like so we see this is freeze and he was and he's trying to cure his wife and he fell into a vat of things like every other villain that we've had in the past um and we're also going to lead with him in the poster because it's arnold and we've led with every other villain except the the, the main batman um but we don't know why he's bad he just because he froze his face and now he's trying. He didn't do anything else. He just froze his face and now he's ruthless. And the same thing with Poison Ivy. She's good. She wants to help. And then some guy tries to bury her in the sand. And we were going back to the Catwoman story. And now she wants to take over the entire Gotham. And now she's completely evil. Why? What? Stupid. It's it's the stretch of like her wanting to save the planet at the cost of humanity is like two lines of dialogue poorly delivered. Yeah. And they like let her play a melodramatic 11 for two hours the movie's 11? also wicked long you're being, you're being generous 11 um, yeah that's fair. 40. That's fair. it's like a 52 but the, the movie's also two and a half hours like it's so long it's is it that i don't think it's that long but it's but it's long it's it's it's, it's over two. it's over two hours and even even if it's two hours two five fine that's that is that is 35 minutes too long this if, if venom can be an hour and a half 
this movie can be an hour and a half. And then can I get yeah? Can I give George Clooney a, a one compliment for this? He is the most Bruce Wayne looking individual totally. out of every single person cast because yeah. Bruce Wayne is supposed to still have that kind of suave <clears throat> playboy look, and he looks the most like Bruce Wayne out of anybody that has been cast so far it is and what's so funny is that every movie they just disregard any other li love interest that he had now he's in love with Elle mcpherson and where she comes out of she comes out of nowhere it's like, okay. that's what <laughs> he did throughout this entire movie whoever was really popular at the time if you remember coolio's in there like i forgot I mean, coolio was dude, in there. <laughs> coolio's in there. jesse ventura is in there which i didn't yeah. which, at one point and that's what right at the height of him kind of being the governor of minnesota and all that so Vivica I mean, there, just a couple of governors Vivica. hanging out with Batman. I'm not going to complain about Vivica a. Fox's outfit, though. I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. And when she showed up, I was like, "Thank you." And then everyone in the movie, like this, it's like because you have George Clooney again, who's trying to act serious at, in in the scenes, and and the Alfred storyline of where it's going. The second. It's ruined though because as Alfred is, oh, they're playing up Al Alfred. He's Michael's been with us since the beginning here, and now he's gonna, and now they're gonna crap him out. And then in one line they go, "Oh yeah, but Freeze tried to save his wife, and then we just gotta get that." Like I's gonna live, you know? It's like it's, it's they're not even trying. Like and, and they're like, "It's a rare disease." Blah blah blah. Oh, Alfred's got that same one though. Right. Like the only right, right. right. There's, it's a rare disease, and we just happen to find that Alfred has it. It's like it it worked that he was just getting old. He's just getting old. And you know, and Alfred was gonna crap out. It's like give this, give this guy his out, and don't make another one of these movies. And thank goodness that, that didn't happen. And we, you said it last week, Coy. What an abomination of a, tra a travesty of what they did to Bane in this. It like it's so him bad. Muttering and just saying single syllables. He's as smart as Batman or smarter. Exactly. work, Cookie. It's so stupid. Painful. Oh, and the super soldier think, serum. Come on, bring in the pain, and then you bring Whoa. in the diamond, and the next thing you go, I freeze you, and I make a joke, ha ha, funny pun, ah, look at me, uh oh, here comes the crusader, what do I say next, Mr. Schumacher, ha, ah, whatever I want to, I'm Arnold, it's 1997, I'm starting to decline just a little bit, but I'm now, and I'm going to be in the big movie, and they're going to put my face on it, ha ha, come on, Robin, look at you, Chris O'Donnell, stop whining, that's all you're doing, you're whining, you're not funny, you're like Anakin Skywalker, you complained about the sand next, Oh, like, don't worry about it. Give me the death kiss. Ha <laughs> ha. All of the nonsense. Hey, man. Look. That was better than the movie. Look. look that, <laughs> it was better than the movie. But I, I will give a little bit of credit. They're bad 60s one liners, but they're some of the best I've ever heard in my life. It's saying, so stupid, stupid. saying stupid shit like, what killed the dinosaurs? The I, Ice Age. I'm going like, to look. I'm going to see if I can find <laughs> all of Arnold's one liners, and I will do them if Take I can find all of these and call me in the morning. Like that oh, at the very end when he's giving him the, the cure. Uh oh my god, dude. Gotta have a list. I hate I hate when people interrupt the movie. Like yeah. just ten, oh. ten awful Mr. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It says ten awful Mr. Freeze puns from Batman and Robin is the article. <laughs> and it's 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 so it's so bad. You're not sending me to the cooler. That's <laughs> one. The ice man cometh. There's one. Oh, mm -hmm. Stay cool, bird boy. There's one. <laughs> All right, everyone, chill. <laughs> this one, hurts. cool party. <laughs> Allow me to break the ice. Adam and evil. <laughs> Tonight, hell freezes over. Night's forecast, a freeze is coming. Let's kick some ice. <laughs> Yo. I mean, come Yo. on. Go ahead, Awful. Let's kick some Yo. ice, Winston. Let's kick some that, ice. That was that wasn't even him though. That wasn't him. Well, that was uh that, that was that was Robin. Robin said it about uh about no, it, but like he said it but, too. He said it too. Yeah. Oh, did he? Okay. He well, it. okay. I, I say it in the sense that if you are going under the guise of this is 66 shit, that is some of the greatest, like that's better than any pun. That anything ever came out of '66. Okay, but Let's here's the thing. So the, the main thing too, and I know you're not defending the movie. I know you're just saying no, like what it is. I'm but not, like, so eight, so '66 to '89, with a mixture of, with a mixture of Burton, a little bit of the '66 flair, yeah. and a little a little bit of something different, makes for a good Batman movie. I agree. So the second Batman movie, a lot of Burton, a little more '66 flair. Still understand why some people really enjoy the movie. Mm -hmm. 
the third movie, trying to get an, a, a storyline, especially when you see the deleted scenes, and then we're in, in you know, and we're in '95, so people are starting to get away from the goofiness, but it's still it still plays because you put the big movie star in there, right? '97 with Arnold's kind of fall of falling and people and the reason why Arnold became super famous was because he was a badass and and yeah. in the commandos and the total recall seeing him play this goofy stuff it's it yeah jingle all the way is for kids and stuff they, they love it and yeah. certain things but the twins and sure but as as a villain in Batman and then you up the 66 Batman yeah. to like a hundred plus the fact it is now what thir uh, 30 years removed it, terrible formula to just sell toys and it, there's no no mystery or why this exploded in their faces no i mean i'm not surprised i'm not surprised at all it's it has all the things that we hate the most about about bad superhero films if anything yeah. um it makes super spider like you said it made forever look like the godfather it makes spider-man 3 look like you know citizen kane or something like that bro like that it, it's so we said that exactly because we when we watched spider-man 3 we looked at that movie and there was a lot of good stuff in there it was just it, it was just a there was too much going on it was messy stuff there were certain scenes that didn't work this is just sl like sloppy like we said that last week was just fast food with no feeling this is like putting ajax in your blood this is just this is just eat, this is eating like cleaning fluid yeah, I actually yeah. can't say like many positive things about this movie, and that's so rare. Like I can you always talk something. about nice. You always find something. Like it's bad. Like I, I was shocked that it held up worse than I remembered, and that it was more painful. Like I, the only thing I can think is the gift that this gave us was Batman Begins that we got out of this track because they might have kept Batman campy, they might have kept Batman silly, and they went so far they were like, okay, this character's dead. We have to revive him brand new. Um, but what I'm curious about is like people in the comments, like I know a lot of people that love this movie unironically. Really? Like, what is their take? Because I, it's just my perspective. Is like, I'm gonna guess. So I'm gonna guess it's the same thing Winston said before. They just have a, they have an emotional attachment to it when they probably saw it when they were five years yeah. old. And, and and when you're five years old, if I showed this to my five year old or she, 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 four year old, she sees Batman running around. All she sees is a superhero with a wing. She's not paying attention to to one liners and how. I mean, Winston said it perfectly. That was nice. he, he was yeah. he was a young kid and he just saw Batman and Robin together running and now he looks at it and he and he realizes this is a this is a piece of garbage. It's just I was obsessed with this movie and my dad was always like it's not that good like because my dad's a big comic book guy that's how yeah. I get into comics and my dad would always be like uh and I remember now him being like very patient in watching it a hundred times and I'm like yeah. I put this man through trauma the things you did, I did you, you did you did because like last night when I like. All the other movies that we watched, all the other ones, including Batman Returns, I said I can see myself probably watching this again eventually if I have to. I'll I'll, I'll fight you if you make me like. This. <laughs> I, I don't want, I don't ever want to see this movie ever again. It is so bad, and it's like it's just so bad, and it's the the from the writing and everything and and what it was, and I don't blame Joel Schumacher for it. I really don't. Same thing that I said last week. He's talked about it many times in interviews where he was told go bigger go bigger sell merchandise sell toys go bigger make it more goofy so i put in those silly sound effects and arnold schwarzenegger his his crew was so stupid like, hey boss hey boss oh 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 shout out hate it when they talk to the movie like it's like ah oh, all and everything that. is a disney on ice sketch like everything oh, yeah. is like uh, either it's a trapeze spectacle with jungle or it's on ice like it's bad but i'm happy for i'm happy for i'm glad i'm glad it happened because as you said if you didn't you don't get the nolan batman you you have to hit complete rock bottom and that's and that's yeah. essentially what ends up happening with this but i mean yeah no everything like i think that moment where you realize that you you're you're dealing with the whole jumping of the shark and the bat shark repellent is the very beginning you know they're fighting the goons there's this weird scene where all the goons are skating around and they're doing this weird thing where they're flipping yeah. their capes back and forth looking around like oh my god oh my god and then all of a sudden they go they they get they throw some dudes they kick their feet together and ice skates pop out and then he goes you get the ice I'll get the ice man and I was like oh so this is this is literally what we're doing yeah. this yeah. is they, they tell you to be fair they tell you right away what this is and do are we gonna talk about the fact that Batman legit tries to kill Robin in this movie like they're they're skating they're they're shooting down after freeze like, I can make the jump I can make it he's like no you can't do it he's like I can make it you're going really fast I can make it. Okay, 
yeah, I don't want you to make it. So I'm just going to stop your engines with nothing to brace you and just hope that you, you survive. You, you could have killed him. I know you're getting off a giant finger. Like right. It's like precarious on all sides. It's very like, and it's the weird escalation of the first movie. Like this repeats itself so many times. The, I don't trust Robin. We've got to be a partner. That's the whole first movie's connection between yes. the two of them. And we then there's like again. three times in this movie where they had the epiphany that Uma Thurman's trying to kill them. Like they keep over and over again, the amount of times that it's like, Hey, she's trying to separate us. They, they, that's three right. different set pieces. And that's another thing that the detective clever Batman is just not there. Is he's just he's just like, oh it, well, I noticed that that she that people were starting to really uh she was enticing everybody and seducing them. And it's and, and he's like, Oh, you just this you're, you're right. This stupid fights between the two of them. And I like Chris O'Donnell. He he is, Chris O'Donnell is so obnoxious in this movie. He is not likable. And dude, stop putting your arm around a Batgirl every time she's around Alfred and feeling sad, he's just like, Come here. It's like, get out of there, you creep. Let her be. Yeah, he was a really aggressively creepy yeah. towards Silverstone the whole movie. The whole movie. And then why is Alicia Silverstone? I mean, I, and first of all, isn't and Corey or and Winston Batgirl, isn't she Barbara Gordon? Isn't she? The, yes. The, what, yes. What, she's they she's read they, they, they they read that to make useless it useless in the films. They made her. <laughs> yeah. Alfred's. Yeah, it's, yeah, it didn't, it was, um, yeah, all that was I'm, it was dumb, and the, the fact that how she just becomes—that's my favorite. My favorite is that she's the computer whiz at the end, right? She's like she she she's the one that has Which to girls true to Barbara. That's yeah, the, and they they mention it up okay. front. They say she's at college for computer science. So. Fine, fine, but but and then she figures out the password after seventy five tries. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah, like, like just she's the opposite of a hacker. She did no. it plugged and played for seventy five tries. Just, guess, just guessing it. It's like it's like Batman. just yeah, just hack into Gotham. it. Just, oh my god! And then and, the, the and then Bane from Bane from out uh, from deep from deep court hacking. If you can reroute out satellites, you should be able to get into even Batman's computer easily. And then the scientist gag at the end is we're having a it's one of those days. It's like it, it's so 66 Batman, but it's like so out out of touch. And it's really and I would love to do a deep dive into like who was running the studio at that time, because it is it is so it is absolutely the reason why this movie is the way it is, because there's no world where Joel Schumacher is. You know what I really want to do instead of doing the dark Batman? And you can see it. If you watch the deleted scenes from Batman forever, you can see what he wanted to do. And he's like, yeah, well, you know what I should do? I should just make this completely ridiculous and have no soul whatsoever. He, he's not that's not the kind of director Joel Schumacher is. If it was you bowl or somebody, sure, but not him. And so it was the studio executives sitting around trying to make money because they, they said, well, it worked last time. We went away from that Burton version. We made so much money. Let's go away. Let's go even further. They liked the change in tone. So maybe they want Maybe it shouldn't be too serious at all. Maybe it should be completely goofy like the 66 Batman. I love that as a kid. I love that as a kid. He's probably like 60 year old, whatever he was, whoever the head of the studio was at the time making those decisions. And he, you know, and, and completely grenade in the puddle. The moment Robin bursts through the wall on the motorcycle and it somehow shaped a it's Robin symbol. silhouette, I, I was it done. It is simple. How oh would, like what? How does that occur? Like what? What causes in in any way even, that happened? Even I get that there's you got to suspend some disbelief, but like he kicks freeze and the gun goes, flu, 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 yeah. flu, and perfectly lands in yeah. this one spot. Like I just. Yeah, and then and they kept oh, cutting oh. back to the Robin silhouette. He kept like posing in front of it, and I was like, "We get the joke. It's not a good it's, joke. It's not working." And here's another thing: Who's the creepy weirdo that's just following around Mister Freeze and his wife while he's in his living room, uh, putting something on it on her chest, and there's somebody videotaping it? Who's doing that? Oh, I thought that was the wedding video. No, not that part of it. There's there's parts oh. <laughs> there's, there's, footage, there's footage where he's just putting stuff in there and it's like it's who's who's the creepy guy just walking around filming him in his house he's everywhere Bro, that was vivid that was Vivica a. Fox she she was always just trying to get involved with the two of them yeah I mean look that's Talk not about the Arnold, your cold that's not the Arnold I know the eating is not cheating <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. best line of all time eating is not cheating. <laughs> Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, Arnold. Um, but man, yeah, it's like I remember being excited that Arnold, because I love Arnold, man, and I remember being excited that he was going to be in it, and thinking like, because 
the comparison always is like what Jack Nicholson did as Joker. And you're like, oh man, Arnold's gonna be like a badass villain. And you can look what he did with Terminator. And it's just like he's just plucked out of a Saturday morning cartoon. I mean, so, so goofy, so stupid. And somehow Uma's worse and somehow Bane is worse. Like it's it's just how is it that turducken of crap? I agree with you. I think that you're you're right. It's as much I got to a place where and I and Uma Thurman is one of my favorites. She, I love Uma Thurman. And when she, but I got to a place in this movie every time she showed up. Now I was like, just put Arnold back on. At least and that's, a, that's yeah. a lot. Like at yeah. least Arnold's Arnold's almost so bad it's good. But at no point was Uma entertaining in that transatlantic oh. weird. Oh, and she, like her character in the comic book, her character is is compassionate towards the planet, and that doesn't really show right. here. There's like well, a you, why would you team up with Freeze, who is literally attempting to freeze all of Gotham? Right. right. Why the fuck would you do that? I'm sorry, that was number two, but why would you do that if that is the if the whole situation that you're trying to work out is I'm trying to save the planet, and he's literally going to destroy it. He's going to destroy it so he can save his wife. That yeah. seems the complete polar opposite. Why, of I, mean, I, guess, I, guess, I guess the argument is that's why she tried to kill his wife. And then they, they don't even really explain it. And the fact I, I that's one of my biggest tropes that I hate in movies is when the villains caught on camera or on audio. And that's how I got you. That's how I got you. That's twice now. You did it with I Penguin. Said, you got him a recording. All right, Penguin. We got Pe right. They, they pulled <laughs> stuff. They pulled stuff from every movie. It's a lot from Batman Returns. The Catwoman story it's the, the 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 poison ivy is the very bad version of the catwoman story she just gets sucked into the ground and somehow comes back and has all this stuff and they don't even tell you like how it was so like anybody could have fallen into that thing and then come back the same way like like what and then the whole the whole fact that you know this guy is who was he talking to by the way the scientist who was he talking to he's like oh you want bane you're, you're gonna get bane remember he was talking to somebody yeah was, who the mystery talking? buyer was I, if I had to guess, like I, I like to, I like to exactly. I like to put something positive on things yeah. when they leave an opening, and I just said it was Lex Luthor, which would that's be like, I'm gonna, that's, that's Lex Luthor's dad, dad in Smallville. in Smallville, right, right. So, and he was, he always, he was also in Gremlins too, but he, he out, that actor, he's been around for so long, but he, I never, you know, you always remember when you see an actor for the very first time, and and what, however they stick in a role. And he was in this movie is about this poor kid who has actually, I think, since passed. And this kid, David, who, and I don't want to get dark. Basically, something happened. I don't want to get too dark about what really happened. But something happens to this kid. And it was his dad that did it to him. And he played the dad in the, in the televised version of it. And it's always stuck with me there, like this creepy dude. Very good actor. But I, but when I saw him in that, I'm like, oh, he's in this too? And then this whole thing of how he, he, come, he, he just, because with Christopher Walken, and when Walken did it, you're like you, they start to set up what Walken is and how ruthless he is and what he's done. Uh -huh. This guy is like this the the one liners and I'm just gonna do murder now. <laughs> it's like because you won't sleep with me or whatever it is. It was just so. It was oh the movie's really bad. Who wrote this piece of garbage? Do we know? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Google cartoon it. cat. It's it's like it's so bad that I don't think anything could have been done by anyone to fix it. Like I don't Ooh. think any performance because like. Mm -hmm. I, the only person I think is decent in it is George Clooney, but even George Whoa. Clooney is not playing Bruce Wayne. What? Akiva Goldsmith wrote it. Yeah, I think I actually saw that. But again, that's I. I would probably say the same thing. You know, it's like the because he he because he, he worked for a long time actually for a very long time at first. Um, but I think that he was probably with Warner Brothers because he had a long contract with Warner Brothers. Hell, he was there when I was there. Um, at still so what and they probably just said, hey, Akiva, this is what we need you to do. We want a, a goofy over the top sixty six Batman. Write it. So, I didn't realize he had such a. He is. He's been very hit or miss. But I guess some of that has to do with, like you said, sometimes people are just telling you to do stuff. Especially you know? when he's around, he has a. And he yeah. has a Warner Brothers. Look, look at all the Warner Brothers movies. That yeah. No, I'm. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. yeah. So, and Chris O'Donnell terrible in this movie. Alicia Silverstone, same same thing. She was cast in it because she was of clueless. And, you know, 97 this is, is yeah it came out or whenever it was uh michael go is still pretty good you know as alfred so pat hingle same thing he has more to do in this but he's just more of a, of a fop he's just like oh come back he's like you're too old for me he's like no i'm not uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> element pearson is was absolutely smoking hot 
and she actually wasn't that bad in the movie. She was good in that. She's good in Friends, but it just there it was it's just a worthless thing to show. Basically, what we just talked about before. Well, we got to show that that Batman is it can't be can't have relationships, and he's and he's kind of a narcissist, and he's this, and and he even says he's like, am I am I kind of hard to to be around? Is it my way or the highway? And that kind of stuff. They started to dive into it, and then it was just lost in all the nonsense. I I just find it funny that you have the situation where he's under this drug for Ivy, right? And he's like calling Ivy's name while with Elle McPherson and she never actually gets mad. She just goes, who's Ivy? It's what? And by the way, and not only that, which is hilarious. That, I'm glad you brought that scene up because I thought the same thing. She's like, can you imagine Winston? You, you, you're, you're at home and your lady may you you have a dinner and you say, yeah, you know, it's cool. Samantha. 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 Especially during a conversation about getting married. A you're conversation like, about the future. Yeah, you're like, like, but but then, but imagine being able to get away with this one when she goes, Who's Samantha? And you go, I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I think he says, I wish I knew. Even worse, I think he says, I, like, I, I wish I knew. He says, All right, he, like, goes, he, goes, he goes, I wish I knew. That's and that's and that's it. And she's like, All right, let's have some food. I'm gonna mm. can you imagine? I, I, I'm I'm gonna try that not just just with with shit that I'm supposed to do around the house and I mess up. Why didn't you get? Why didn't you take the garbage out? I wish I knew. <laughs> she isn't immediately going. You have billions. We're getting you to a doctor. <laughs> like what are you talking? About? I wish I knew. It was the best answer ever. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Hey, why, why'd you steal my car? I wish. I, <laughs> I think I think I'm gonna do that next Schmodown match. If I end up just like punching Gucci in the face, yo, why you do that? You do that. Wish I knew. Wish I when, knew. Next, when Winston and I play again, anything I don't know, I'm gonna write. I wish I knew. Wish I, I wish I, I knew. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Hey, Batman and Robin. <laughs> my wife. Why'd you steal my wife? I wish I knew. Wish I knew. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh, my goodness. I wish I knew as well. I wish I knew why I signed on the dotted line and I put this on. <laughs> it took so long for me. At one point, I felt like my balls were frozen up there. Oh, my goodness. Why did we all agree to watch Batman and Robin? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. <laughs> oh, my God. How many, how, the question is, over under 100 comments that say I wish I knew. I, 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 I bet over. you it ends up in every review we do going <laughs> forward. <laughs> I know. So, I we do have we do have a because people have been asking about t-shirts. You know, big thing is a t-shirt that we sell we sold lim limited, but we're bringing that back and we're we're bringing in a show some class t-shirt, which people have been asking for. So we're gonna do that. But I, <laughs> hey man, wish I knew. I wish I knew. If it catches on, if the if the if the audience likes it, I wish I knew. I can see a beautiful shirt. I want somebody to get in trouble today. So somebody watching today, if your significant other asks you to do something and you don't do it, or <laughs> something happens and they're like, let the dog shit in the middle of the living room. And and when and when they do it, why why didn't you pick it up? You just say, I wish I knew. And but see how it goes over. Tell me how it goes. Between now and yeah. Batman Begins, I want every every opportunity you can say, I wish I knew. I want that to be someone's credo. I want yeah. whoever I want you to go through life this week, internet, and say, I wish I knew from the soul. I have to see if if I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I have George if George Clooney, George Clooney, Ella McPherson scene. And let's see I, if I I am about to. Oh, my my synapses are firing. Don't worry, I, Christian. I'll have something for you by next. I'll probably have something by the end of tomorrow. But I've, I've got I've got. A, I wish I knew for you that may hopefully break the internet. Let's All see. right. Oh, oh yeah. So uh, let's see if we can. Hold on a second. There are. Can you hear this? Things about me. That mm -hmm. you yeah. Understand. I know you're a dedicated bachelor. I know you've had your wild nights. Wild doesn't quite doesn't quite cover it. He's trying to act. You make some so, just uh, there it is. Oh, is this, uh, so now he's looking at her. Who's Ivy? What? He just called me Ivy. Who's Ivy? I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to put that on the uh, I'm going to put it on the soundboard. A hundred percent. You got to. You got to. Uh, delivery man. too. It's, I it's, wish I knew. It's really, really good. It's just I, so I just, My, my oh, brain. 
I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Can you give me the timestamp on that? I'm gonna need yeah, that for later. One one thirty one on this video that I have. I'll I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in the chat over here. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's fantastic. It's so fantastic. I feel like the hierarchy of villains somehow Freeze was the best, with Poison Ivy, and then Bane for worse. But like I think George Clooney is the best part of this movie, which is not agreed. Like, he's he's interesting. Yeah, and there's no reason he's a movie star. Yeah, he's such a movie star. But like yeah. even he can like watching paint dry. That is this movie. He's charismatic. And, and remember, this was like he, this was like Clooney starting to peak. And even though he's older, he was starting to peak at this point because he was on ER for a while and he left ER and he started doing movies. And I think Out of Sight was one of the first ones that he really popped in and started to. Do. So this was a big movie for him. This was this was something he should have. He he absolutely should have taken this role. I mean, there's no there's no doubt. It's, like, you know, trusting in what Joel Schumacher had and all this stuff, too. And and it was probably a massive payday for George. It it really I mean, he'll probably beg to differ in, in that part, part of his life. But. It, if you look at him now, he at least came back from it, but it didn't seem to hurt him. I mean, he it hurt. Oh, brother, soon after this, which is a great other side. Yeah, like, oh, brother's a perfect antidote to this. He's a he's an a he's a his he's a producer extraordinaire. He's still acting. He's doing. I mean, it didn't it didn't really. He's a great director. I, the Ocean yeah. movies alone, like he's in one of the best superhero franchises, not based on a comic book. Like he those movies did, are superhero he, movies. He just did the one with, uh, with the the Tender Bar. He just did the yeah, Tender which Bar, which is incredible. Which, it's a really good movie. It's, it was it was sweet, and I, I liked it. So. Clooney is, uh, yeah, Clooney's fine. Um, O'Donnell, I mean, is in one of those medical shows, or whatever. So he's doing all right. Alicia Silverstone's on some some movie coming out. They're still doing stuff, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, obviously Uma Thurman. This this didn't even touch the tip of the iceberg of what some of the Kill amazing Bill's stuff dead. she would do. Yeah. I mean, because Kill Bill's coming, which I I appreciate that her action legacy got rectified by being in Kill Bill. To be honest with it's you, it's impressive. This didn't hurt anyone considering how bad it is, but that shows how good they all are. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I agree with you. Because like, it's, it's funny, Donald, even like going yeah. to TV, it's a it's a giant legacy role. Like he's been on that show for like eleven years, so like even he yeah. got a beautiful gig out of this. George, why yeah. did you sign up to the movie? You had all these wonderful things. Do why did you sign up to it? I wish I knew. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know what? I bet I know. I bet I know what it was. Both, both Michelle Pfeiffer and Nicole Kidman. Remember, he did one fine day and the Peacemaker with them right before. I bet you both of his friends said, "Yo, go look what Batman. Batman did for us. You should go do Batman." And why would your friend say that to you, George? I wish I knew. Oh. <laughs> so wait, we did. We did. We had a positive. This is the first Batman movie where Batman doesn't just break down and just tell her, yo, I'm Batman, though. That's true. He didn't, he didn't give it away. Three. Yeah, he didn't give it away. <laughs> but you, had to see, you saw Arkham again, which I know I went to your proud. Yeah. Happy about I, that. Here's, here's the one thing I can actually, the big positive I can take out of this movie. I did like the 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 stupid uh, scene when Freeze or Bane or whoever breaks in and he breaks into the costume shop in the, in the and prison the, and the, the Riddler thing was there. That was and fun. that's an early Easter egg. Oh, like, I missed that. Doing that. Yeah, that was fun. I yeah, the Riddler. That. How could you miss that? It was, it was, it was because I, because I, because Christian, when I told you I watched it twice, what I mean is it was on the background and I didn't actively watch it because I like myself. Because I actively like myself. Well, you're not, that's, so that's, not very, that's not very professional. We sat through it. It's like we suffered. It took me three why, different days. So why why would why would Winston, who was a really good friend, and knew that Troy and I were going to do it? Why would he do this? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's because I I can guarantee you because I love this movie as a child. I guarantee you I've seen it multiple times more than you two put together you know it that so, well like, you know it well I, I like i i was you quoting it up, without you, looking you never, at it you never picked up on the riddler's jacket ever yeah i was gonna say i, I, mean, I probably as a kid i just didn't just now because yeah. i wasn't looking up I, but i would have probably noticed that uh now i probably noticed back then but i this that's the a, thing this i was quoting VHS the movie actually burnt out like this was one of the ones yeah. that like i played too much and it broke my, yeah. my so I, well I, so I you know what's really funny about this too by the way so this is so the other night well, I've been watching them on HBO Max. I've been watching all the Batman 89 movies on HBO Max. And I remember one of the fans said, you got to watch it before this time because they're going to pull them off HBO Max soon. The the not the Nolan ones are still on there, but the, the other ones. And I was like, okay, I got to remember that. So I started watching Batman and Robin and I was like 30 minutes in 
and I go to turn on HBO Max and it's gone. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. I'm like, I'm not renting. That <laughs> so I luckily remembered that years. Well, the two things actually happened, but I re remembered years ago that when the package came out, the studios had sent me the 89, the 92, the 95 and the 97 versions on Blu-ray. And I was like, oh, great. So I got to have it. And there's Batman and Robin. Not even, the plastic still on it. And I got this thing years ago. Not even touched. Um, and then, I, then luckily enough, I guess Hulu maybe had some deal. And it's on Hulu um, with mm. no commercial interruptions. And I was like, okay. Great. Yeah, because who wants to advertise on this? I wish wow. I knew. <laughs> Anybody would. <laughs> I know, right? It's like, but either, either way, man, it was, uh, it was something. So I remember I bought this with my allowance money when I, I must have been like nine, I think, if this came out in 97. So it was probably 98. Mm -hmm. So it was probably 10. And I bought it at a grocery store. And they always overcharge at grocery stores because I didn't go to a movie mm -hmm. store for it. So I remember I saved up my money to buy this and Lost World on VHS back when I was 10. What and it, the hell? Because those were the two <laughs> movies I wanted yeah. most. And I remember I literally broke our rewinders. Remember rewinders where you had to put the yeah. – like, off to the side so you could keep watching another video and it would rewound faster than your, your – And I remember player. my Lost World was in the VCR and my rewinder broke my Batman and Robin. And that yeah. was the first thing that I spent money on that broke. So Batman and Robin Whoa. has a bittersweet place in my heart. You know what I also realized, though, too, is that it is very hard to turn a good movie around in two years. And this is, proves that, right? Like two years, it, it was from 95 to 97. And the release date for Batman, let me see, Batman Returns. I know it was 95, not Batman Returns, Batman Forever. It had to be like July or something, right? Yeah, June. Okay, so June 1995. And then this movie comes out in like June or July, two years later. That means Wait, they were. They rushed. They hauled ass. Well, and, and you, you, you kept very little of the cast. You kept Chris O'Donnell. You a kept of, uh, you know, Pat Hingle. You got, no, no, you no. You, Michael Go. You only, you only, you only kept Gordon, Alfred, and and Robin. You replaced Batman. You had a new love interest. You had to add Batgirl. You had right. two new right. villains. Right. Like, you had a lot of supporting the cast too. That silly lady who's just like, oh, Brucey. Was like, we're still doing yeah. this. Is it that lady? Yeah. Is she a character in the my, comics? Or just a silly my version. My close personal friend, Bruce who Wayne. Said who said that was funny? Yeah, who that's my will? question. Is what studio execs read these jokes and went like, this is it? The kids are going to love it. it. You know what it was? It's it, it was whoever was in charge at that time really thinking that comic book fans and people that like that type of stuff were idiots and that the at that and that the audience the other audience would be in on the joke and realize that this stuff is supposed to be silly that's you well, can see somebody saying oh it doesn't matter you, come on honestly you put on yeah, it'll be amazing Arnold you put him in like the freeze thing we'll throw him those little one-liners they love the one-liners in the movie that'll be great was it john peters was it like the the i don't know himself? I don't know, but Uma Thurman, she's a, yeah, 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 the tall one. We put her in the Ivy thing. She comes out, she blows the stuff out, and Bruce, and then and and and, and Robin could be fighting, and oh, it's amazing. I'll put the clueless girl in there too. That'd be amazing. What's Coolio doing? Hey, give him a cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. The only thing that would have been better is if Coolio had wrapped right before they took off in the race. Why not? So which, at that which, point, which, at that to point, be honest, why not? You, one highlight of the film. I don't know if y'all feel the same way. I actually enjoyed the motorcycle race. I thought the ending was a little weird, but I thought that the, the race on the bridge was actually pretty well done. Yes, but I can't get over. Uh, and again, I like him as an actor, but Chris O'Donnell makes this stupid face throughout his entire run as, as Robin. He's like, this face, what he's doing the whole, he does this thing every single time. It's also, like, there's a oh. really weird edit at the end. You mentioned the end. The, when he catches her, Alicia yeah. reacts before he takes the mask. Yeah, yes, I noticed yes. that. I noticed yes. that. She's like, yes. oh. I saw that too. And then, like, she, does, and then she does it again. I'm like, did you use the same cut? They, they, well, the one yeah. positive I have oh. is I think Gotham is cool. Like, the, I like the, the Art Deco goth yeah. like architecture that's evolved yeah. from Burton. And I like the gang and their like glowware. Like, that was a cool evolution of those. I that, would that love gang. to get a footage of Joel Schumacher, though, in the editing room. It's like, hey, Joel, you can't. Who cares? Yo. <laughs> Yo, well, on a on a on a fun multi uh, like connected universe tip at the very beginning, you get the line of "This is why Superman works alone." So at least we've acknowledged that they, that it exists. But on the flip side, you want to talk about bad edits? 
when they're fighting Ivy in the final battle with her and, and Robin gets thrown into the water, I don't know if you noticed they did the rever- the like full reverse where he goes in, he goes, ah, and he pops out the water. Ah, ah. Like, they literally just do a rewind. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, Joe Schumacher is like, oh, I don't care. Do whatever. I don't care. <laughs> the check already cleared. I don't care. He's just putting money aside for phone booths. Yeah, at this point. I don't he's care. Already, he already knows phone booths coming. Right. He's already got hey, a plan. Yeah, hey, this thing, uh, this this thing kind of repeats. We don't have any extra. It doesn't matter. Just put it in there. <laughs> I don't care. Even Coolio's uh, like, I gotta fix this. I'm gonna go yeah. to Daredevil with Ben Affleck. Hey, Joel, did you know that, oh, that, that Coolio snuck on the scene and he's in the take? Fine, keep him in there. It's fine. <laughs> you know, I did. I actually noticed uh, in the first two, the Tim Burton ones, uh, it says based on the magazines from DC Comics, and then in this movie, it says based on a DC comic. So even the even the credits, like fuck it, people, they don't like, care, guys, right? They didn't, they didn't care. <laughs> but like, like they called G- the magazines when they were trying to be prestigious, and yeah. then they called they like flippantly. It's, it's absolutely they did. It was the whole thing. So, everything about it. Jeep Swenson was was Bane. Who's that? Interesting. I don't know who that is. Uh, is wrestler. That oh, the Jeep Swenson, Robert Robert Swenson. Robert Swenson. He was in WCW. I, I didn't Bane I, pass um, away about ten years ago. The the actor that was the body double. Oh, he played Bane. I see. I see. I see. He, okay. Yeah. He, well, he. Oh, wow. He died in ninety seven. So he knew this movie was coming and was like, "I'm out here." No. Oh, jeez, Winston, you're going dark today. <laughs> I went dark. Look, man, you gotta understand. This unlocked this really dark part of my brain. Oh, watching. Yeah, no, he, no, he, he did. He died like he died like two months after that movie. Came. So sad, dude. He was also in No oh, Holds Barred, which is another stink bomb of a movie that I love. I love that movie. It's so bad. You ever seen No Holds Barred with Hulk Hogan and Tiny Lister? Mm-hmm. Oh man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love Tiny Lister. Something Zeus. It's probably before. It's before both you turds were born. So. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's, it's uh, whew, why did we do this to ourselves? I, 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, yeah. uh, I'm so excited for the Nolan trilogy, though. Like, actively hyped. I, yeah. Well, and and that's then that's how we should probably end this. It's the fact that, as we said before, without this movie being as terrible as it was, and and the audience wasn't stupid like the studio's ex thought, um, and they just said, nope. I want to know box office wise what this movie did. Right? Let's see. Box uh, office. According to Wikipedia, uh, two thirty eight point two. That's not good, right? Uh, so let's they put see. in one sixty, got out two thirty eight point two, according to this. Yeah, but remember, don't forget, is the budget was one hundred twenty five million. That's not including uh, marketing, so always tack in. Oh, you know, oh it says one. It says one sixty on Wikipedia. So is that including marketing? Then you think mm-hmm. marketing is usually as much as production. So yeah, so let, let's oh. let's say because of 97, 97 we're talking seventy five million in marketing, right? It's still two hundred million dollars. So worldwide, it made two thirty eight. And who knows how many times it's been re-released or all that type of stuff too? But it, it's a uh, yeah, it's not that's not good. Um, when you look, I mean, it, it certainly it wasn't a bomb, but it wasn't good. It didn't end as a compo- as compared to Batman Forever, which cost which Batman Forever cost to make it may it cost a hundred million, um, which let's say two hundred million over 175 whatever made 336 worldwide so that that's that that to them is a hit that's what you're looking for that's what you're looking for and then like so i same... think batman begins cost seven dollars comparatively and made a <laughs> yeah let me see let me see that as far as what that is so batman oh i put the it batman begins. it looks like it was one not again not wikipedia not begins. Not begins batman um uh we're talking about batman returns Right? Are you talking about Batman Begins? Oh yeah, I'm saying Batman Begins. They oh, I see. Yeah, it looks stuff. like it was it was 150 to make. Remember though, 150. Well, no, but still 150 is is a lot. Uh, budget 80 million for Batman Returns, and I think this is the reason I'm going through this because these are the four of this set before we move to Nolan. Budget was 80 million to make. It, it made 266 million dollars worldwide. Batman Returns. Now a lot of that is return business from the first one, but. I, I don't know. I mean, it's still. I mean, look, it, they wound up making more on the, their their money. Their money still. They made a profit switching to the Jim Carrey version, so it still made sense money wise. But it wasn't like it bombed. It cost eighty million to make it. It made two hundred sixty six million, right? So I guess still one eighty. That that's not too much. So I guess I get it. Let's see, Batman. Batman eighty nine. 
Batman 89 cost, holy crap, how much do you think Batman 89 cost to make? Like $9 million based off of what you just, the face you made. $9 million? No, it's definitely, I mean, keep, I think keep uh, 25, 25. And you say 75? Yeah. 35 million. Winston wow. $35 million. 35. And how much do you think it made worldwide? Probably. It, it, you said 380, okay. Worldwide, so can, including domestic and international, um, yeah. I want to say like uh, 300. 411 on a $35 wow. million dollar budget. That is that's, insane. That's some get massive. out numbers. That's crazy, that a, bro. That is a massive, massive number. So you understand why Burton was given the keys to the castle in that second movie, but then and that's why Jack Nicholson's sitting pretty because he got a percentage. Yep, and so, but it also makes a lot of sense now when you look at this one made basically almost four hundred million dollars or whatever, three hundred million dollars profit, right, or close to it, and that's not even including wow. merchandise and all that stuff. Yeah, that's not includes that's that's just what the movie made. So that's that's close to a billion dollars in business with everything that that you have, and. Then when the second one comes out and it barely makes like $40 million profit, you can see why they wanted to change the strategy. But then that fart festo we watched this week does what it does and sinks the property, most likely. And George Clooney says it, it was pretty, I was pretty much, that was the end of it uh, for Batman. For about a decade. And then they, they saved it and they had to because Nolan then did the exact opposite of what this one was. And I, I don't want to call it the Jill Schumacher one because I don't blame him for it. But this tone, is here nolan's is here and whoosh, and you talk about just a complete 180 and making everything realistic and that's probably what the meet the, the 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 meetings were it's like yeah like you look at the last the thing that happened the problem is that people don't want that anymore especially where we are this is a, probably like 2002 2003 when they start talking about it and i look if we because what it came out in 2005 right the first the, I mean, it begins first one's five yep so probably around anywhere between 2001 2002 they start mulling around and they bring nolan in and nolan has the conversations and he's like we what we can't do is what we did what you guys did with batman and robin you've got to instead of aliens or, or big mutated guys you got to make it more realistic and that's my approach and then you know we get arguably yeah, honestly without movies. batman begins we don't get the mcu like i don't i don't see iron man happening three years later if that you know they they showed what serious yeah. comic book movies can be yeah. and then a very fledgling studio marvel was going out of business not that long earlier they, right. they had to sell all of their major characters to other studios to stay afloat they only had c-listers like cap and iron man left they yeah. cast a guy that no one's willing to cast they have an, a then relatively uh, not a blockbuster director, and they give it less budget, all because I think Batman Begins. Like, I think we owe Batman Begins, and weirdly enough, Mel Gibson by way of Downey Jr., the keys to the Marvel Universe, and Favreau, obviously. But it's crazy that Batman Begins really, I think, gave us that. Yeah. Um, so, and, which is funny because then you could go a step further and say you wouldn't have Mando or Book of Boba Fett if Favreau doesn't kill it with Iron Man 2. So we also it's, owe it's, Batman Begins. For Star Wars. And we could go a step further and say we don't get any of that without this movie because this movie caused them to go the other way. So Why Batman is... and Robin Damn. is responsible for Book of Boba Fett. Well, wait a minute. Why in the world would you compliment this movie? <laughs> I'm trying to give us purpose. <laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, wait, you missed. I said, why in the world would you compliment wish this movie? It's not a good answer. Why? Why, why, George? Tell me, tell I me wish why. I knew. Please, please. <laughs> I wish I knew. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get that soundbite. I gotta get that. I'm gonna. Oh, as a first, wow. I'm, I have, I have so many things that I have to do that, that I have like deadlines on that people have been asking me for. And my and now first you're gonna thing do I'm this gonna do is a soundbite. I have one hundred percent. When when someone says, "Did you get me those? Uh, do you have those documents on it? Why didn't you get them? I wish I knew." <laughs> <laughs> Next time I get an email from you, your signature is gonna be "I wish I knew." Chris I wish Bob. I knew. It's a truth. When I get, I'm gonna get. I, I promise you. I promise you. What we should do. I mean, there's nobody in our circle. Let's be honest. That's watching this show. <laughs> nope. Our audience will be in on the joke. Um, everyone else will be in the joke. But what we need to do, the three of us, this is our thing now. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no, and, and I mean, if we're on the air. I mean, if we're together <laughs> at a Subway sandwich place, if someone asks us a question, one of us, if the moment is right, has to say, I wish I knew, Chris, and then fist bump the other two. 
Christian. And I want I, I want a middle distance stare if possible. Yeah, and don't tell yeah. anybody. And we cannot explain yeah. it. And I don't want to explain it on the air to anyone. I don't no. want to explain it to anyone in in person. I just nope. want to do it where if if the three of us are around, it's like our creed, and it's like and we're, we're around Look, and it. Like I will like, find a way to sneak that into a match. Yeah, you think yeah, I like, won't? I'm gonna do it. Like, well, why why would somebody do that? I wish I knew. I wish I want to rename Shazam. I wish I, I, wish I knew. knew. <laughs> Yo, Yo. Bibbs is going to ask you seventy five million questions, and you can answer. Wish I wish I knew seventy five million times. Uh, so good. So it's good. really close to being Winston's team name. Wait, wait, I know this. I wish I'm I knew. Thinking, I know it's, it's very close to wait. I know this. It is very close. Oh, that's oh, what it should yeah. have been for me. Stacy did fine. It should have been. I wish I knew for we, me. Guys, we might have found our the the next like because I don't know if you remember the Collider Live days. We had um we had uh, win a goldfish here, and so yeah. um, <laughs> win a goldfish here, and I want like I want the and the audience li- would put. They would put win a, uh, win a goldfish here everywhere. You would see it everywhere on other people's shows. On you would see it on Twitter. You would see. I wish I knew. I want that to be a thing. I want to start no. seeing. It. I'm watching when I'm watching like a, a, someone else's stream. I just want to see an audience member who's watching both put. I wish I knew and see if another audience member then picks up on it and goes. It's so versatile. I promise. So I promise so you. Next, it won't be today. But Blurred's on Tuesday because this comes out tomorrow. I promise you Blurred's on Tuesday. Someone's going to end up saying some shit like that. Please, everybody do. I wish I knew. Because the other <laughs> thing is, too, because what I also the reason why is the audience will have earned it because it means they watch this piece of crap movie with us. And they, <laughs> because, because it's only the people who watch this movie back or really wanted to talk about it that's going to watch this episode. There might be some that, that that missed out on it, and then you missed out on on the, on the, the way we drive traffic to this episode is it's the beginning of the phrase. Like yes. this is where it was born. This is, this is the origin. This is this is Batman at the theater with his parents. Christian, I'm calling <laughs> it right now. I'm calling it right now. I'm gonna win an Oscar, bro. And when I do it, I'm gonna be like, "Yo, I can't." Wow. Yeah. Um, y'all gave me an Oscar. I, 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 why did y'all give me this? Like, I wish I knew. Like, I just, yeah, I, I know. So it's, Winston, it's, who, who do you want to thank tonight? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, so, so, George, do you know why he said what he said at the podium? I wish I knew. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> the best. Oh, I do. What, what, what a gangster to be able to get away with that sitting at the table kissing your lady and then you say you call out another woman's name <laughs> we ask you who is it that? wasn't just it wasn't just that if you watch it again if i'm not mistaken doesn't he kiss ellie mcpherson and then when he comes yeah. out of the that's kiss, what I mean. yeah that's what i'm saying like oh, yeah. i thought you mentioned with them just talking it was so oh, it was so much kissing. deeper he's he, dude, oh. look look, look I, I, he's they're like they're mid smack check the, look i got the i got the the, the clip i'll show you the clip <laughs> It's, this is this is we got video ever. I'm more of a detective than Batman is. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Look at this. Look at this. You see this? Look at him. Yeah. Mid smack. Mid smack, and he starts thinking about. He, he there he is. He's smacking. He's smacking through again. He's got. I mean, look. He's locked in. And then she turns into poison ivy in a second here. Oh wait. Or did she already do it? I don't know how. You, I mean, look. Uma Thurman is is very pretty, but Ellen there it is. There it is. And she thinks he's. And then now she goes back. Who's Ivy? Huh? 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 What? He just called me Ivy. Who's Ivy? I wish I knew. <laughs> <laughs> is it is it because he's George Clooney or because he's Bruce Wayne with billions that he got away with that? Both. You need to be both, both to get away with that. You need I, the combo. What is I this? I wish I knew. How did, oh, you didn't know about this? You didn't know about this mode? What's this? Yeah. Hell yeah, that? that's like the same way we used to shoot Smodown. You could put us in, in oh, rectangles. I, and stuff. I, hate, I hate this stupid thing. Ugh. Yeah, it's, it doesn't matter. Sure. All right, your mother F's. All right, let's get out of here. All right, look, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it was a fun. It was fun to talk about it. But let's be honest. How excited are you guys to be, actually to dive into Nolan? Come on, dude. I am those movies are so magnificent. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm. I'm. I'm actually that. That's partially the reason why i wanted to do this series too to revisit those movies i always because i always see them on my shelf and i always like go, oh, am i gonna watch it right now i'll watch it eventually and now i have to watch it i'm glad that i have to watch it because it's there's some there of my favorite go. movies and i actually really love ellis does not ellis likes the the last one 
less and less every time he talks about it. And I feel the opposite. I want to see how I feel. Rises. I love rises. I love mm. rises. I love it. Um, I feel I like Tom Hardy doesn't get enough credit for how special that movie nah, was. I love that movie, but I, I'm, I want to go back. I mean, it's all, I've only, I haven't seen it in a handful of years. I can't imagine it's going to change that much, my opinion on it, but but I, I, I loved it. I mean, I do remember how stupid of a scene it is when Marion Cotillard dies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so stupid, but... Uh, I, <laughs> I mean, the only thing that I will say, I, I really enjoyed what Tom Hardy did. Just one time, I would like to get a Bane that doesn't have some, like a funny voice. Like now, Bane being from Santa Prisca, mess. I mean, huh? But he's in a no, mess. no. I understand, but I understand that. So Bane being from Santa Prisca, I mean, you're gonna catch some some like a Latin accent on him in a, in a lot of iterations, which I totally am okay with. But like, you got this weird voice that Hardy's doing. You got monkey work over here. Like, I would just like a Bane that's just a dude. Yeah. <laughs> I want a Bane that's like hyper intelligent. That's that's that's. I, I, yeah. I think what Hardy was doing is like playing Hardy. tropes. Yeah, but like they need to mix it up for for Matt Reeves one. Yeah. Well, either way, we're getting into the Nolan ones, and this was this. So make sure that you subscribe will you show a little bit of class hit that subscribe button hit the notification button make sure you do that for sure and i gotta ask you a question though why have you not why have you not done this why have you not subscribed i wish i knew well, that's fair so, uh <laughs> what, I, what i would also love for you to do is please hit that that subscribe button and also join patreon patreon.com slash sen live we got a rewatch coming out um we and i might winston said it today you mentioned kill bill one and two. I might want to do a full rewatch of both those movies. And Ooh. you want to be part of that, Winston? Yes, please. Right, you're, two you're of my in. favorite films of all time. All right, you're in. So well, that might be something, but it's, it'll be exclusive. So you got to go get the bonus episode on Patreon. Um, and SEN Live is now three episodes per month, no longer two. It's three episodes per month. And we're moving along, guys. We're moving along. Subscribe to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, anywhere you can find the podcast. And for myself, Winston Marshall. Koji Andrew, that was Batman and Robin. Thank you for enduring that. Peace.